is up you guys welcome back to another one if you are new to the channel i am gold pony i do new car truck suv reviews on youtube and today we are in a special one the 2022 tesla model y courtesy of younger motor cars in hagerstown maryland for more information on their inventory please feel free to check out the link in the description box below and so i'm in this one today because i've actually reviewed several electric cars at this point but i have yet to review a tesla and so we are in one today and not only that a 2022 model as well so what are the odds right and so there's actually several changes though for the 2022 model y and we will be going over them in this video of course also this one comes in five and seven row seating configurations if you weren't aware of that already which is pretty nice so ultimately we will be testing out and going over everything about this one from acceleration to braking steering for ride quality sound system all of that fun stuff so having said all of that what do you guys say let's just go ahead and jump right into it and as always let's start with pricing and so there will be essentially two different configurations when it comes to the 2022 model y first one being the long range configuration which is the one we have today that one starts at sixty thousand nine hundred ninety dollars and then you have the performance starting at sixty three thousand nine hundred ninety dollars but so you can imagine with those two different configurations there's two different power plants so to speak both configurations of course coming with dual electric motors but the power numbers are going to differ for the long range that we have today this one puts out 384 horsepower 376 pound feet of torque top speed 135 miles per hour zero to 60 time is going to come in at approximately 4.1 seconds according to motor trend range is going to come in at a very impressive 330 miles and by the way you can actually get 162 miles out of this thing within simply a 15 minute charge which is pretty darn impressive as well but in case you were curious also when it comes to the warranty for the tesla model y four years 50,000 miles basic warranty and then eight year 100 20,000 miles battery and drive unit warranty then but so then like I said the other configuration that one is going to be for the performance that one comes in at 456 horsepower 497 pound-feet of torque top speed for that one 155 miles per hour 0 to 60 time for that one 3.5 seconds with the range coming in at 303 miles still very impressive but before we do any kind of fun acceleration tests here in our model Y, I wanted to mention to you guys the drive modes. No drive mode button because of course everything is located within the infotainment screen. And so if you go to that little Tesla icon in the bottom left hand corner, you then can adjust the drive modes. And so there's different aspects you can adjust. For example, the acceleration, you can put it on standard acceleration or chill. There is a chill mode, which is kind of cool. Steering mode, you have some options there as well, including comfort, standard and sport, and then stopping mode, creep, roll and hold. So adjusting a few different aspects of the model y there as well but now having got all of that out of the way what do you guys say let's go ahead and put this thing to the test and let's see how quickly we can get our new 2022 model y here up to speed all right in three two one oh buddy you guys see the speedometer oh my gosh wow i love electric cars man i just got done reviewing the mercedes eqs that was insanely impressive as well but this thing is so dang quick that instant torque with electric cars all electric cars really it's just absolutely amazing and i don't know if this gopro was catching it or not but if the gopro was showing the speedometer on the infotainment screen it was just ridiculously quick climbing up in speed so that was a wonderful thing you can feel it in your gut but anyways to go along with that acceleration as always braking is equally important and so as expected you will find four wheel ventilated disc brakes as far as that 60 to zero stopping distance goes it is going to come in at a very impressive 118 feet as far as braking feel goes it, as the tesla key goes flying it is perfectly fine definitely on the firmer side of things instantly brings you to a stop and of course you have that one pedal driving mode as well so when you let off the gas it's essentially going to immediately almost bring you to a stop so gradually let off the gas and you're going to gradually come to a stop and actually that's to a complete stop as well so it's kind of a way to save your brake pads a little bit as well so you don't really have to change them that often so that's yet another cool feature with all electric cars just about to the touching on suspension and handling up front you're going to get a double wishbone type front suspension in the back independent multi-link rear suspension gas pressurized shock absorbers as far as ride quality goes it's not bad and i think part of it is that these roads are pretty darn smooth here in maryland but it's pretty much like a lot of the other vehicles in this price range i would review i mean it doesn't have an air suspension it doesn't have an adaptive suspension either but having said that 
Ride quality's been perfectly fine in my short test drive here today at least. And touching on steering feel, it's one of the first things I noticed when I got in the Model Y is it leans on the heavier side of things, which I personally like. And actually, we can adjust that. Let's put it in sports steering feel mode. And it's even heavier, it's even weightier. Wow, I love that. It immediately points you in the direction that you want to go. This is really one of the better steering feels I've tested in quite a while. It's it's very heavy right now. Let's see, if I were to take it out and put it in comfort driving, yeah, it instantly loosens up. So a lot more, a lot more loosey-goosey. So it's really something for everyone. I'm gonna put it back in sport because that's better. But anyway, steering feel is wonderful. I love that it has such a vast adjustment within that steering sensitivity driving mode we have here. So that's pretty darn cool. As far as cabin noise goes, you guys could probably tell I'm going 34 miles per hour right now, but isn't a whole lot of exterior wind noise or anything coming into the cabin. I mean, you do tend to hear a little bit more because it's an electric vehicle and you don't have that engine noise kind of drowning out on that other exterior noise, but it's not bad. It's definitely something you would get used to, I would imagine. Do want to also mention along the lines of suspension and handling, there is a full self-driving mode, at least that's what Tesla calls it, that is available for an additional $10,000 if you wanted to go that option. Then touching on visibility, I would say it's definitely, it's not the best out there because of the shape, of course. It's not as bad as like a Nissan 370Z or anything, but because of the shape, it's not the most visibility out there. But again, if you ask a Camaro owner, if you ask a 370Z owner, they're gonna say it's something that you get used to. So I would imagine it wouldn't be that bad over time. But that pretty much rounds out the performance segment of this review, guys. Let's now go ahead and take a look at the exterior of our brand new 2022 Tesla Model Y. All right, so here she is, you guys, the new 2022 Tesla Model Y finished in midnight silver metallic. In case anyone was curious of our exterior color name. But by the way, this is one of the free paint options and it looks dang good. I like it in this color. But anyways, let's go ahead and start up front. Of course, with it being a Tesla, with it being an electric car, there is no front grille. So that is what you're looking at, of course, right now. Full LED headlights to the sides. They do, of course, come with the automatic feature, meaning when it starts to get dark out at night, they are going to turn on automatically for you there. Automatic high beams, though, also coming standard, meaning if you set your high beams and the sense is a vehicle coming in the opposite direction, it's going to automatically dim that back to low beams. Then when that vehicle is gone, it's going to automatically set it back to high beams again so that's pretty convenient front fog lights down below you guys could probably see those as well and just below those fog lights you will actually find some front air curtains as well helping direct air around the wheel and tire combination and of course one of my favorite parts is the frunk so essentially the way that works is everything in this car is controlled through the infotainment screen which we're going to get to in a little bit but there's actually a button on the infotainment screen to go ahead and pop that frunk and there's actually a decent amount of storage in there as well so i was quite surprised to see how much storage you really get in the front so well done tesla for that i like that but anyways pretty much rounds out the front end of this one let's now go ahead and make our way to the side of the model y all right so now since we are around to the side of this one black window surrounds do come standard black door handles which will be flush with the side profile also coming standard i thought that was pretty cool body color power adjustable side mirrors do come standard they will be auto dimming heated and power folding with the tilt down feature as well. So pretty much everything you could possibly want when it comes to side mirrors at least. Also, of course, you do have that tinted rear glass. It comes on pretty much all SUVs these days. Black accents you can find on the front fender to tie together with the black accents on the door handles as well as the window surround. So that looks good. Then take a look down at the wheel configuration. 19 inch Gemini wheels are going to come standard. However, there are 20 inch induction wheels that go for $2,000. So they will be available for you then as well. But pretty much rounds out the side profile let's now go ahead and make our way to the back of the model y all right so now since we are around to the back of this one i guess you could call that an integrated rear spoiler definitely a little lip there so looks good back there of course you have the iconic tesla emblem to the sides led taillights do come standard you do have the dual motor badging then as well for all model y's but of course there's not going to be any exhaust outlets because this is an electric car i probably shouldn't even have to say that but Having said that, since we are around back, let's go ahead and pop the trunk and let's make our way to the cargo area of this one. All right, so now since we are around back of the Model Y, when it comes to opening that rear tailgate, it is a power tailgate. You just simply press the button up underneath of that tailgate and it's gonna automatically open up for you there. Once opened up, as I mentioned at the beginning of this video, the Model Y comes in either a seven or a five seat configuration. So 
If you wanted to go with the 7C configuration, you do have to add $3,000 to that price, but it can be outfitted that way if you wanted to go that route. We actually have the 5C configuration though, but behind that second row, cargo capacity comes in at 30.2 cubic feet. If you were to fold that second row down, that is gonna bump up to 76.2 cubic feet then. Did wanna also mention there is some cargo lighting back there. There is a 12 volt power outlet, and there is some uh, deep storage to the left and the right hand side in the back, which I thought was pretty nice. And then there is some concealed storage underneath of the cargo floor. There's kind of two sections. The section towards the seats are gonna be a little bit less deep as far as the storage goes. But the section immediately just in front of that, there is a pretty deep amount of storage within the floor of the cargo area. So that was definitely pretty nice. Then make your way up to the rear legroom that is going to come in at 40.5 inches. So for reference, I mean even six feet tall. This is how much space I had back there. Heated rear seats actually do come standard as well. There is a rear center armrest with cup holders. There is rear ventilation for those rear passengers. And there are two phone charging ports for those rear passengers just underneath of the air vents as well. So definitely a nice place to be in the rear seats there. Then make our way up to the front seats. Power adjustable heated front seats do come standard. Black seating is gonna be the standard configuration. That of course is what you guys are looking at, but there is white seating available for an additional $1,000 if you wanted to go that route. And the seating will be finished with a leatherette finish in case you were curious about that as well. But overall, it's probably one of the first things I noticed. These seats are incredibly comfortable. Like I said, they are power adjustable. The lumbar adjustment was very adjustable. I'll just put it that way. So, so seating was definitely very comfortable in the Model Y without a doubt. Then making our way to the steering wheel, it is tilt and telescoping. It is leather wrapped and it is heated actually as well, which is pretty nice. But so then once started up, typically the next thing I cover are the gauges in any particular review that I do. However, there are no gauges directly in front of the steering wheel. Everything is gonna be located on that massive infotainment screen. So that is where you're going to find your speed at any given time in the upper left-hand corner in case you were curious about that. Then touching on overall interior quality, dual zone climate control coming standard, aluminum and genuine wood trim also coming standard. I loved that. That could be found just above the passenger side glove box, just in front of the steering wheel, the infotainment screen as well. So that was definitely pretty nice. Full cloth headliner coming standard. Another thing I really liked was the suede trim that you could find on the doors and also just in front of the cup holders below the infotainment screen as well. So that was a very nice touch or a very nice surface, I guess you could say. Auto dimming rear view mirror and that rear view mirror will be frameless as well. Also liked that. Another thing, let me circle back here to the uh, glove box. The way to actually open that up is there is a button within the car icon on the infotainment screen. You press that and that is how the glove box is actually going to open up. So I thought that was pretty cool, but we'll get to the infotainment screen in just a second here. But just in front of the cup holders, you have a very deep amount of storage within that. So that's pretty cool. And within the center armrest, you do have a 12 volt power outlet and some additional storage there as well. So overall, interior quality is perfectly fine. It's definitely very minimalist when it comes to the lack of buttons, which I personally appreciate because like I said, everything is essentially on the infotainment. So let's go ahead and get to that now. 15 inch color touchscreen display is going to be the standard configuration here. Of course, you get Bluetooth and audio streaming. You also get factory navigation system, which essentially Tesla uses Google Maps as a base layer, and then it adds some Tesla points of interest to that mapping as well. You do have live traffic visualization, which is pretty darn cool. And I'm gonna to try to show that to you guys with my GoPro shot here. But essentially, if there's a car coming on the left or the right of you, it's going to show that live traffic within the infotainment screen, which I thought was pretty cool. You can also access within this infotainment screen if you go to the little carrot upward facing arrow there's a bunch of different options like there's a toy box where you can go ahead and hit that you can have a, a sketch pad up there you can set a boom box you can set a fart noises if you wanted that you can set a fireplace nice romantic fireplace you can set the screen to a, a shot of mars there's a new santa app there's rainbow road if you wanted to display that i think that would be pretty cool so a bunch of different options within the toy box there's also an entertainment section where you can download different games like solitaire let's say there's cat quest I don't know what that is. There's Beach Buggy Racing 2, where you can race your Tesla by using the steering wheel on the actual Tesla. I love that. And of course, you could search the web as well, and that's gonna give you things like you could search, I don't know, Gold Pony on YouTube if you wanted to. So I'll show you guys a little shot of that real quick, but you could search Tesla's website as well and pretty much anything. It's Tesla's internet browser, so that's pretty cool too. And of course, that's where you're gonna find your charging statistics, how many miles you have left until you hit empty, that kind of thing. And 
tons of other stuff as well there. Like I said, the car icon all the way to the left, that's gonna give you a lot of things, like turning off and on your lights or just set it to automatic mode. That's what I would do. You can also check out your drive modes up there. This is the autopilot mode if you have that equipped. There's your navigation information and some service information up there as well so a good bit up there of course you could check out your climate control information there's your heated seat buttons so really you could do pretty much everything on here you can access netflix there's hulu twitch youtube like i was saying and of course your radio information so by the way when it comes to the sound system here on the model y you do have 14 speakers that does come standard one subwoofer comes with that two amps so having said that what you guys say let's go ahead and turn on the radio see what we got playing today and let's test out the clarity of this one it's absolutely amazing. I gotta be honest. That is Tesla standard sound system, 14 speakers. That's impressive. Clarity was wonderful. Bass was amazing. That is a really, really good sound system for the Model Y without a doubt. And I've tested over 600 sound systems at this point. So that was wonderful. Anyways, last thing I'm gonna mention to you guys on the infotainment screen is when you do put the Model Y in reverse, you will find a rear view camera coming standard across the board. And when you are in reverse, it's also gonna make this kind of noise so people know that you're in reverse because it's an electric car after all. And you do have some other camera options. There's several different cameras on the Model Y then as well. But overall that, is going to lead us into safety. And so to start, the Model Y is an IIHS top safety pick plus, which pretty much says it all right there. Front side side curtain airbags do come standard, driver and passenger knee airbags as well. In the back, you're gonna have latch, AKA lower anchors and tethers for children for the rear car seats, rear child door locks, tire pressure monitoring system, also coming standard though, front and rear parking sensors, a blind spot monitoring system, forward collision mitigation, rear collision warning, lane keep assist, lane departure warning, forward collision mitigation, and a driver attention monitoring system then as well. And so overall, when it comes to my final thoughts here of the Model Y, instant acceleration and we didn't even have the performance model today we had the long range but still zero to 60 in 4.1 seconds especially in a lecture car with that instant torque all-wheel drive no slipping in the rainy weather today whatsoever it was absolutely amazing great handling as well if i'm being honest especially when you put it in that Sport steering sensitivity mode. It's absolutely amazing. It's such a heavy feel to it. Love it there. Of course, excellent tech. This is essentially a giant computer that you're driving. So the tech is 100% on point and really better than any other vehicles out there on the road right now. Super safe because it's an IIHS top safety pick plus. It says it all right there. Excellent range as well, comparatively speaking to the other electric cars that are currently on the market. As far as room for improvement goes, I guess it's a little bit stiffer of a ride, you could say. I mean, for this price range, it doesn't have an adaptive suspension. It doesn't have an air suspension. So quite honestly, that's really the only thing I think Tesla could improve upon for the Model Y. But having said that, still ride quality was fine. It's just that it's not to the same level of the other vehicles in the price range for what this vehicle is. But anyways, let me know what you guys think of the Model Y in the comments section below. That is about it for this one, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Feel free to follow me on social media at the bottom of the screen if you want to see what's coming next on the channel before it actually gets to YouTube. Be sure to hit the subscribe and the bell notification button if you're into new car reviews. That is what we do here on this channel after all. Do appreciate you guys watching more than you know, and I will see you guys all in the next video. Stay gold.